Welcome to the channel, everyone. My name is Bukaya, and this is another episode of Checkpoint Chowdown. Today, I got an interesting one, y'all. I do. I got a really interesting one, y'all. It's the holiday season. Everything's getting crazy. Pumpkin spice flavored holiday flavors. And I think this one might have jumped the shark, y'all. We might have gone a little overboard. But today, for Checkpoint Chowdown, we are trying cup of noodles or cup noodles pumpkin spice flavor y'all is it cup noodles i thought it was cup of noodles but it says cup noodles y'all pumpkin spice flavor with other natural flavors ramen noodles in sauce y'all pumpkin spice ramen noodles i saw these on the internet nobody believed me they were a real thing and then i saw them in store ha ha pumpkin spice cup noodles y'all ramen noodles I'm going to try it. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I This is going to be either bad or disgusting. But I'm going to try it. You can even see right here it says, For an even more satisfying pumpkin spice experience, try topping with whipped cream after microwaving. See? It says so right there. So we got to do that, too. Y'all, I'm excited. Scared, but excited, y'all. Cup noodles, pumpkin spice. Flavor ramen noodles. Let's try it. I got to cook them, of course, in the microwave. I know they say don't cook them in the microwave. This one says to cook in the microwave. So we got to cook it for three minutes. That's not bad. And then slurp away, it said. Oh, damn. Damn. All right, let's see, y'all. Cup noodles, pumpkin spice, flavor ramen noodles. All right, y'all. I cooked it. You can see the whole thing's got like a orangish color to it the whole microwave smelled like cinnamon you open up the microwave everything smells like cinnamon i got the great value original dairy whip topping on the ready i don't know y'all but it said topping with whipped cream you can see it's got like a little like a sauce on it it's a little saucy it's not broth like you're used to on ramen noodles it's kind of thick all right here we go I don't know how much is too much. There's never too much. Man, all right, let's get into it, y'all. Pumpkin spice ramen noodles. All right, here we go. I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little nervous. Let's see. Let's get some noodles. We got to get some noodles, some whipped cream. Let's see what we got going on. I'm afraid, y'all. Here we go. You can see I got all oh, this dripping. It's saucy on them. But you can see I got some noodles. I got some whipped cream. Let's try it. I like it. Straight up, I like it. It's sweet. It's not your... Do I got whipped cream on my, my beard? Not yet. It's kind of sweet. I was hoping it would be sweet. I mean, obviously, it's got a pumpkin like sauce on it. It's very saucy, very thick. Um, Yeah, the whipped cream. It actually does kind of taste like pumpkin pie. I know a lot of people probably weird it out with the consistency or the texture of the noodles. I'm going to have another bite real quick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's surprisingly good. I feel like... Now, correct me if I'm wrong. But I feel like there are some cultures, some um, ethnicities or some countries that have um, noodles or pasta in their... I do got whipped cream. That have uh, pasta in their desserts. I feel like I've seen that before. Even I feel like even some American desserts have some some pasta in them. It's really good, y'all. It's warm. It's nice and warm. It does have that pumpkin spice uh, flavor, you know, like the pumpkin, cinnamon, those like real fall spice blends. It tastes real good. The noodles are soft. The broth, the sauce, I'm, I keep saying broth, this ramen noodles, I'm used to saying broth, but the sauce is kind of thick, so it does kind of coat the noodles. You add the whipped cream in there, it tastes just like pumpkin pie. I know it's weird. It tastes just like pumpkin pie, but noodly. If y'all ever wanted like a noodly pumpkin pie then here it is i'm actually like no joke kind of surprised by how much i like it it is very sweet i've never had a sweet like noodles before i've never had sweet ramen noodles before um but it's good it is really good i'm kind of surprised i'm not gonna lie i'm pretty surprised the the whipped cream like melted immediately mm -mm. see it's too thick. Can't slurp it. It's too thick. I actually really like it, y'all. I think the, the warmth of it all 
kind of goes really well. It plays really well into like the whole pumpkin theme. Um, the spice, the cinnamon. It's like a warm slice of pumpkin pie. It's really weird. I didn't think I was going to like it, but I actually really like it. Like I said, the whipped cream is pretty much gone. It all melted um, into the soup, I guess you could say. So that did make the sauce a little milkier, a little creamier. It's very thick. You can't slurp these noodles. You can't. But they're actually really good. I don't think they need to make more dessert flavored ramen noodles. Maybe there is, and I just haven't noticed. Who knows? But that's actually really dang good. It's unique, that's for sure. It's not something you would find at the dinner table for Thanksgiving Day. But I wish it would, y'all. You know this is like a limited time thing. It's very gimmicky. There's a there's a big pumpkin spice gimmick all from like October to like December. But it's actually really good. I wouldn't mind trying this um, again next year. I did buy two of these because I'm impulsive like that. Every time there's limited something, I buy like three. I don't know why. Sometimes I don't like them. This one, I'm going to eat them both, y'all. I actually do really like this. It's really not bad, though. If you could get past, like, the um, the idea of a sweet noodle, then it's fine to enjoy. I feel like that's probably what's going to trip people up is the fact that it's ramen noodles. Um, but sweet. That's probably going to trip people out. But like I said, I feel like there are some, like, dessert recipes, especially from outside of the United States, that use, uh, pasta in the dessert. And it's actually really good. The texture's not really that off-putting. It's just like a bowl of noodles, only sweet. I like that. Y'all, that's what I like about pasta. It's just a blank canvas. You can put whatever the heck you want on it. But I think if you're able to get past the mindset that it's a bowl of ramen... And it's not supposed to be savory. Give this one a shot. I really like this one, y'all. I really do. But that's going to do it for today's episode of Checkpoint Chowdown, y'all. We got a wild one today. A weird one. They wildin' over there at Cup Noodles. They should make more. What other dessert ones could there be? Man, the only thing that comes to mind is maybe like chocolate, peanut butter. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, like a Reese cup. Now I'm wilding. Now I'm wild. But you know what? Pumpkin spice, cup noodles. I like it, y'all. Surprisingly, I really liked it. If you've tried it, let me know what you thought. Or if you're like, heck no, no way in hell I'm trying that one, let me know that in the comment down below as well. But that is going to do it for today's episode of Checkpoint Chowdown. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more episodes to come on channel Mondays through Fridays. Now, as always, my name is Bukaya. You've reached another checkpoint, so let's fill up those health bars, and I will see you all in the next level.